Going into 2011, I was just trying to get any minutes on the field. I was trying to make the roster. I was just the youngest on the team trying to learn from the older players. I was scared and nervous and a, a lot of emotions that I tried to kind of keep in. Here's a substitute, Alex Morgan, who's come on for the USA. Morgan is through. She can settle it here for the USA. She has. Chance for the United States. Goal! What a moment for Alex Morgan of the United States of America. Well, during the tournament, I wasn't a starter at all in 2011. So I didn't get as many media requests as a lot of the other players, a lot of the starters. So I was still very new at it. And I finally started to get used to it and started to feel a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. You know, I think initially it's probably a lot, but I think she started to manage that. I mean, Alex is certainly one of the high profile players on this team. And, you know, and with that uh, comes responsibility in the media, on the field, off the field. I mean, she has a lot of demands on her time. I think finding that balance for her, I think, you know, I think initially it's probably a lot, but I think she started to manage that. You know, she seems remarkably poised with all the, you know, all the people asking and all the things that she has to do. Quite on set. All right, here we go. These are the official home jerseys. Actually, wow, we just launched sick. them today. US soccer are going across the nation with this ball. This ball, <laughs> that was a little slow. <laughs> After the World Cup, we came home and I think that's when everything kind of started to speed up. The opportunities we all got, you know, obviously as a professional soccer player, you don't get paid as equal as the men's side. And so a lot of times we do have to take advantage of some opportunities off the field to have a good income. You know, what I respect and appreciate is that her soccer is still the most important thing for her. You know, even if it's doing extra training or if it's, uh, you know, coming in to watch film. I mean, that's, that's her priority. When people ask me how I balance non-soccer stuff, the things off the field, um, I, you know, I think it just, I've been more confident in the last couple of years with the decisions I make and the opportunities that are given and the decisions whether to go through with it or not, you know, if it's authentic to who I am and, you know, whether it's a company I'm representing or whether it's an event I'm going to or whether it's a photo shoot that I've been asked to, to do, I think it's, you know, it's just weighing all of the things and making sure that nothing is standing in the way of what I do best and what I'm here for and that's to play soccer. And I remember when I met Christine Lilly, I was probably 14 or 15 and she came and talked to our team just very briefly. I said hi to her and I mean I guess it was just that moment that she was real you know and and she was relatable and you know even though it was such a brief moment that I met her it just really lasted with me and I guess that's a big reason I like to do soccer camps and clinics with young girls and I like to you know sign autographs and take pictures take selfies with them you know I, I want to talk to them and I want to um, I want them to know that you know I'm real and I'm relatable and um, I once was in their shoes we take that as a responsibility and and we know that what we do and what we say can really impact young girls Alex Morgan getting the start here a tremendous goal from Alex Morgan is the US go-ahead goal it's a good cross to oh what a fine header from Alex Morgan when I think back to the last World Cup kind of makes me just laugh a little bit you know just how kind of scared I was, but you know, I was, I was always confident, but just a little scared in what was up next. Now I'm in a very different place. It's been a long four years and I've learned a lot and I feel really good in the position I am and I have a really positive outlook for the future.